Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a syndrome of ovarian dysfunction with associated hyperandrogenism and polycystic ovary morphology. It affects around 5 to 10% of women of reproductive age. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a common incidental finding on ultrasound scans in about 25% of women. However, only a small number of them develop the full-blown syndrome. The exact cause for polycystic ovarian syndrome is not known. However, frequent familial trend directs towards a genetic cause. Following are the clinical features of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Menstrual irregularities. About 75% of women with the disease complain of menstrual irregularities, either oligomenorrhea or infrequent cycles, or amenorrhea or complete absence of menstrual cycles. Subfertility is also present in about 75% of women. Obesity and metabolic syndrome is present in about 40% of women. Circulating excess androgens lead to features such as acanthosis nigricans, hirsutism, acne, and obstructive sleep apnea. Other signs of hyperandrogenism such as clitoromegaly, increased muscle mass, and deepening of voice indicate the extreme version of polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is also referred to as hyperthicosis. Patients may also have an elevated blood pressure. Finally, women with this disease are at risk of developing complications such as type 2 diabetes and endometrial cancer. The diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome can be made if the patient has at least two of the following features. Menstrual irregularities, either oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea, clinical or biochemical hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovaries or an ultrasound. Ultrasound criteria for polycystic ovaries consists of the presence of 12 or more follicles within the ovary with a diameter of 2 to 9 millimeters and ovarian volume larger than 10 cubic centimeters. Following are the treatment options for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Combined oral contraceptive pills to regulate menstruation. They also increase the sex hormone binding globulin in blood, which reduces androgenic symptoms. Cyclical progesterone to regulate withdrawal bleeds. Clomiphene to induce ovulation when infertility is an issue. Lifestyle changes, such as dietary modifications, exercise, and weight loss. For the treatment of androgenic symptoms, eflornithine cream and ciproterin acetate can be used. Metformin can be used in people who have developed diabetes and people with cardiovascular risk factors. GnRH analogs are usually reserved for females who do not respond to above-mentioned treatment options. Finally, surgical options such as ovarian drilling can be done to enhance ovulation.